What is happening, Blades? And welcome back to the Blades Ramble, proudly sponsored by Action Coach Sheffield. If you have a growing business and you want to continue that growth, speak to Action Coach Sheffield. They are the people to speak to. And thank you to them for their continued support. We are back for a Fulham preview. Firstly, I've got to... I feel like I do this every video now, but I want to thank everybody for their kind messages and support. Not only for how I'm doing and that they feel like, you know, it's right that I look after myself, and I will, and I'm getting there. And to be honest, I think after international break, we'll be firing on all cylinders again. But also for the kind comments on the perspective video, a few people saying it it actually changed their minds on how things are going. It did me, to be honest. When I were do, sitting down and thinking about it and having a bit of time to reflect, it did sort of change my whole perspective on things. So if you haven't already seen it, please do go and check that out because it's it's something that I think might just make you think a little bit if, if you were already sort of down in the dumps about how the season's going. Sliding doors moments, essentially. What, you know, what could have been. And look, it, the reality is we are bottom of the league, rock bottom of the league. <laughs> with the worst goal difference. But games like this, games like this are the ones that we need to be up for. We've been rubbish, but Fulham are rubbish. So who's going to be the worst of the two teams come Saturday? I don't think a draw is good enough. And I don't mean in terms of Eki's job. I mean, in terms of getting our season up and running, I think we need to go there, show some intent and win. Yeah, Fulham coming off a loss to... Not a poor Chelsea side, but a Chelsea side in very poor form. And Fulham looked really poor. Really dreadful, to be honest. And I think we were second best against West Ham. So it's not look at us. We, we can turn up to Craven Cottage and absolutely steamroller them. But success is built on momentum, which we've none at the minute. And confidence, which we've none at the minute. But neither have Fulham. And I think this is the time to hit them. Some of our fixtures have not come at a kind time. You know, Palace, where we it's a winnable game and we just weren't up for it. If we had Palace at home now, we'd be half confident when we were first 11 that we've got. I'm confident. I'm confident going into this game. But before I get into it, I have to give a quick plug because it's, it's coming up to the deadline for voting at the FCAs, the Football Content Awards. We are up for best new content creator. Hey, well done, Jimbo. Which is mind blowing to even think about. There's a lot of big hitters in this group in terms of followings and things like that, much bigger than us. But if you like the content that we produce and you think we're worthy of being in, in with a shout, I would ask you kindly to drop your vote in. And if you've already voted, I think you can vote again. So thanks to everybody for the support. Yeah, Fulham. I think we've been talking about a while. Something's got to change, and it doesn't. I don't just necessarily mean the the manager or any extreme changes. I think I think we can all agree things can't carry on as they have been doing. And you know these fine margins where we're always on the losing end of the fine margin, it's got to change at some point. Whether that's a, an actual drastic change that we make, whether it be a manager change or whatever, I think something has to be the spark that changes it. So. What I'm going to ask you now, and you'll see why I'm doing this, but what I'm going to ask you now is what's your team? So I am a massive advocate of the way that we play as a club. I, I love, I think the three-five-two system brought in by Wilder was and is a true identity that we've got and and something that I'm proud that our club has and is and it encapsulates. But for me, we haven't really seen the benefit of it this season. I don't think we've utilised it to its full potential. And I think one of the reasons that we stick so rigidly to a 3-5-2 is John Egan. John Egan doesn't play well in a back four, um, notoriously, but always was very, very, very solid in the middle of a back three. I wouldn't, I'll be honest, I wouldn't be advocating for this change if John Egan was fit, because I think John Egan would stay in my 11, despite his his form. I would make a radical change in terms of formation. So here's my lineup. I'm going, Wes in goal. No change there. Again, it's it's one of the areas of the squad where we're very thin on the ground in terms of competition. I'm hoping that Georgie Baldock's back, so I'm going to put him in here, but I'm conscious that it may well be Bogle. But George Baldock is my right back. 
left back Luke Thomas, more of a natural position for him. He has played left wing back previously for Leicester, but he's also very comfortable at left back and I have no concerns about putting him there. My middle two are Anil Ahmed Hodzic, who I think has thrived whenever he's been tucked further inside. I think he's the middle of a three, he's been superb almost every occasion he's been there. But I think as as the right centre back in a pair, he'll he'll also prove to be very good. Austin Trusty, his partner in him for pace, cover, a chance to impress that he hasn't had chance to earn. And I just think we need to freshen it up. Now, maybe a touch harsh on Robinson. I say maybe. A couple of games ago, it'd have been very harsh on Robinson. I don't think he's pulled up any trees, nor has anybody in the last few games. But and we will miss that weapon of a long throw. There's the option to bring Robinson on at left back as well. He did start his career at left back. So if if we feel like we need we're chasing the game and we need to do something to change it, you don't have to panic and go straight back to the three five two. You could bring Robbo on as a left back, where you know if if he smashes somebody outside the box, it's less likely to to have serious ramifications. In the middle, again, I'm freshening things up a little bit. And this isn't, again, I don't want people to think I'm all about getting the old guard out. But we've got to have half an eye on where we need to be and where we want to be. So it's not quite a diamond. It's going to be a middle three with Souza sitting, who I think needs to up his game in all honesty. He hasn't impressed me a lot in the last couple of games. I think he needs to up his, up his levels. And either side of him, there's going to be Gus Hamer on the right. And Slimani on the left. I think he's looked really impressive in uh, in games gone by recently when he's when he's been coming back from injury and even before then. I think Slimani deserves his chance. And then I'm also going to have McAtee slightly in front of them in a ten, essentially, if you like, but like a deep ten, just to provide that extra layer of protection, but also creative flair going forward. And he's going to be behind Archer and McBurney. And I think that potentially really. It doesn't only keep us solid in the middle. I think we'll control the midfield and we may get done out wide. So that's where Hamer and Slomani need to be out and supporting the fullbacks. But it's a complete change. It's something that Fulham won't be expecting. It allows us to be very attacking and on the front foot. And I wouldn't normally advocate for us going and throwing caution to the wind like this. But Fulham are awful. Awful. So give ourselves a shot in the arm and let's go for something a little bit different. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm away this weekend, so I'll be watching the game, obviously, but I won't be going live straight after or anything like that. I will be going live Sunday night, but that'll just be a Rambler stream just to sort of touch base on, on how you feel the game's gone. So if you want to join that stream and support the channel at the same time, please do um, sign up. Two ninety nine a month. The link is below, as is the, the way you can vote for us at the FCAs. The Ramblers actually played a big part in the new intro, so I'm not sure whether you're, whether you're a fan of that or not. I really like it. I've been trying to settle on one for ages, and I think this gets closer, to, much closer to where I want to be with it. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you think. As I say, they they give their opinions, and I tweaked things um, based on their feedback. So if you want to be a part of that and helping shape the channel and how we do things, then then you're more than welcome to become a rambler. And that may be a step too far, and I understand that. We're in a cost of living crisis. But the thing you can do for free for absolutely nothing at all to support the channel is to subscribe. If you could subscribe and help us get to that 5K before Christmas Day, it would be very much appreciated. Score prediction. Get your score predictions in down there. I am very confident. Very confident. I'd be even more confident if we played this team. I don't think Eki will. But I still think we can turn up to Fulham and nick it. I'm saying Blades 2-1 in what will be a very feisty but necessary Three points on the board for the Blades. So, come on, you red and white wizards. Up the Blades! Ramble on!